so the next things are pretty interesting stuff um, this is where OpenShift adds a lot of value for developers and operations uh, so please pay close attention so let's say this application is um, facing a lot of traffic and you want to scale this application right uh, all you need to do for scaling this application is hit this arrow button and it automatically scales up okay and you can also auto scale based on the CPU usage uh, both are supported so I have scaled this application to two, two instances now and it's pretty fast it did not even take minutes it, it, take, it took like a couple of uh, seconds that's it right, so once I scale that let me go and test it this is where I have my API and this API replies with uh, the host name on which it is running so it's serving from this host if I hit refresh it still shows the same host because by default it has a sticky session enabled so all the container traffic from a single user goes to the same container unless that that dies okay this is on purpose um, let me go and test it from curl so we will see whether it is serving a traffic from different application instance or not so I have this pretty simple uh, curl command which does uh, a curl request to this API endpoint every one second so you can see the application is served on two different uh, application instances this first one and this is the second one and it is repeated again right so it's doing a round robin load balancing so if you are if you want to do this type of um, load balancing on your own it might take quite a good amount of work right um, but in OpenShift it is built out of the box once we have this scaling let's go and apply some health checks let's click on this deployment config and then add health check so there are two types of checks here one is readiness probe and another one is liveness probe readiness probe tells whether you are when is your application ready for serving the content and liveness probe tells whether your application is still uh, healthy or not so I have a endpoint on the application which is slash API slash health uh, which tells whether this application is healthy or not. So if it is healthy it returns OK otherwise it returns 404. So I'm going to use that endpoint to tell OpenShift to listen on this for health checks. I can also give some initial delay because Java application takes some initial boot time. Um, so you might see some um, interruptions that's why you're gonna provide provide some initial delay okay that way that that's how you tell OpenShift that wait for this many seconds before you uh, start checking the health or whatever and then also liveness probe I'm gonna use the same endpoint and give slightly more seconds for health health checks so once I do that, it's going to redeploy the application because we changed the configuration. And the important thing is your application traffic doesn't break. And this is pretty important when you want to deploy your applications often. And this enables developer teams or operation teams to deploy multiple times even within a day. Okay, that's how you move fast. And you can see my application is getting a rolling deployment now. The traffic has gone to a new, new containers. The blue thing tells this application is um, up, but it's not ready to serve the content yet because we gave that initial delay time. So give it a couple of seconds and it should be able to scale it to two containers. And nowhere in the process you have seen any interruptions here. So it's now completely um, deployed. Okay. So we have seen that you can do load balancing easily and also you can apply health checks so that your service is never interrupted for your end users.